Hi, here at Rosedale again. As you can see, I'm pretty pleased today. Most of the haylage is now gone. A lot of it went on Friday and the rest of it's gone today. We've only got two bales left. So that's been good progress. I'll bring you into the goat shed. There's been a lot of changes. You can, I've cleared all these pens out today so you can open all the doors easily. Anastasia's in here now, aren't you? Because uh, Emily and her babies have gone out on the field, which I'll show you shortly. Ali, you've stayed in with yours because you're quite an old girl, aren't you? And last time we put you out in the field, you buckled your leg over. So we just kept you and Lula and Galaxy, but you've moved down one, haven't you? You moved down one? Yeah? Hey, ladies. I'm going to go mainly for goats on this tour because uh, I'm already using uh, someone else's phone because mine doesn't have enough battery. So we've got Carlel and Legend still in here. This is little Legend. Hey! And there's Carlel looking a cute see and Mummy Pippa. Huh? I haven't cleared that one up today. <laughs> Yamaha still hasn't had her babies, have you, Yamaha? We're not going to trouble you too much. And then here we've got Prairie and Ziva because we're going to wean Boris and Guava off. We've got Donut and her baby Cherub. Say hello, Cherub. Say hi, Donut. Yes, hello, everyone. So, yes, we're going to wean used to, but uh, Boris and Guava are just over here. Just in case anybody's bag gets too tight, we'll let, let them take a bit off. Just do it gradually, depending on what the needs are. Yeah. Uh, so, you used to being brave boys. You're not, you're not shouting about it because we've got each other. We're already used to each other, aren't you? Say hi, there's Guava. And there's Boris. You're going to be best friends, aren't you? Here we got Polar. You're bagging up now, Polar, aren't you? So babies any day. And I'll come out onto the field where, like I said, I have put some babies out now. We're having some nice weather. It's a massive pile of manure because I have been cleaning out today. So who have we got out here? Oh, is everybody out here? So there is Evie and Razzle. They are out, aren't you? Behind them, there's Emily with Shimmer and Shine, and you can just see Angie and Baby nipping round the corner. I don't want to disturb them too much if they've got a good spot in the shack for tonight. Put some fresh straw in so everyone's cosy. Everyone be cosy, Evie, you and your mum. You're already cosy, aren't you, Emily? Shimmer and Shine. Yeah, you're looking good. Nice to be outside. Everybody's happy, yeah, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? I've wormed everybody today as well, just because the uh, pasture's coming up now. So if they're going to pick anything up, this will be the time. I might do them again probably in about three months' time. We've also sealed the top uh, field, ready to grow the hay. That happened today. <coughs> so that was the babies out in the field saying the night, babies. Love you, love everybody else. Yous were the babies last year, so you have to look after them. There's the big girls. Um, Kirsty's getting quite pregnant now. She'll be coming in soon. She'll need a pen. Uh, Going to have some more family. And Rihanna. Right, I'll take you over here, show you what I've done with the boys, and I'll also be able to show you how much uh, progress we've made with the chicken houses, which are going to be putting into action very soon. It's painting weather again now, so I'll be able to do that probably on Wednesday. I'll try and paint them. Hey, eh, Ramesses, you're all in here now, so the boys are all in here now. Give us a bit more space and it makes it easier for me to let you out into the paddock. You alright Hansel aren't you? You're pretty cosy in here. You alright Magnus? This is Rick. And Ramesses. I've just pulled a bit of your little horn out there Ramesses. <laughs> ah, you're beautiful. Plenty of hay, plenty of water. Need that in this hot weather. Keep the doors open as well. So I've actually got nobody in here now. I'm going to clean this out and I'm thinking about using it um, Possibly close these doors and put some electric in and put another chicken brooder ring in. And then here we've got the mega progress, you can see. Two hot chicken houses at once for building. But uh, this first one's as good as complete. John's just putting a few screws in the door and that in the hinges. It's got all the egg box and that. Now, have a look inside. Nobody in there yet, but it is ready to go. It's got the uh, front on. We've got a door. We've got a ramp. So everyone can get in and out. That just hangs on to there like that. He's done these trims here too, so they're good. Yep, all sealed up. That is officially a chicken house. Somebody's just got to paint it now. And then this one is getting there. We need an egg box lid on. 
the door in. Oh, that's the back actually there. The door in this bit round here. Yeah, this is all the front needs doing. I got your lemon promise. Hey girls. Yeah, so I had responsibility for nine of these lemon brahma eggs the other day and I was pretty heartbroken. I just shouldn't say it in front of you because I accidentally knocked the wire out the top of my incubator. So it was off for as much as 40 minutes and the temperature when I checked it was 24 degrees and the eggs had definitely cooled off from their body temperature. So it was a hot day though and ironically my heating was stuck on. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep going, but I'm not expecting to get any of them. I will let you know how I get on though. Hey boys, the princess over there. Everything's looking good. Uh, not too much going on there for self, and then these are just starting to dry out now. We'll move this over next week. I've been uh, looking out, and it's Sunday today, so it's a white, just about white, a bit mucky. Partridges. I think there's only uh, four left in there now as well. Starting to run out of chickens again. And we'll take a quick look in here, see what's going on while we're on. Yes, everyone's growing up in here good. Starting to get crowded in here as well. I need to make this thing a bit bigger. And your little teeny weenies are doing well. It was all right, teeny weenies. We have got our first lemon brahma chick. She's up in the brooder at the moment. One does sound bad, she's in with a load of uh, silkies, but we only put one lemon brown egg in the incubator when it hatched. It was the first one we got, so I'm pretty pleased with her. You all right, aren't you, Beethoven? Still just making yeah. girls. Oh, girls, you all right, Emmy, aren't you? You got some dicky birds in here, eh? Some dicky birds. Chicken houses. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I'm going, right? I'll go back this way and I'll come round. Oh, there's John. Yes. Nice clear space, I can just walk through here. Uh, I'll have a quick look at Titan and then I'll probably, oh and I'll show you the chick in the brooder and then I'll call it a day. That's where I was going, isn't it? <laughs> Say hi Titan. Yeah, nice full hair back Gina, i keep you going. Right, now we'll have a look in here, my lemon brahma chicks in here. Excuse me, it's not really mess. This is uh, productive stuff that we need. We're all using all this. Yeah, so uh, here we go. And if you can see that one very large chick over there. Yeah, yeah, that's you. That's the lemon brahma chick. You do look very girlish. And here's everybody else. We've got some uh, Siamese chicks in here as well. Little teeny weeny ones. Some partridge babies. You've got lovely leg feathers, haven't you? Righty-o. I'll uh, call it a day on that because I'm running someone else's bachelor. But thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.